Next up, the battle for 13th place. This is between Chile and Canada. Sun shining here at Cape Town Stadium. We're working our way through all the, the minor placings here and here. Come Chile in their white shirts, led out by Huichi, their captain, Phil Burner. There he is in the red of Canada. Core nation, of course, on the circuit, Canada. Chile didn't quite get there as Uruguay won the Challenger Series in Santiago in Chile a couple of weeks ago, but make no mistake about it, this Chilean side are very handy indeed. And they're going to take some beating by Canada here. Nick Hogan from New Zealand, your referee. Just on 20 past four local time here in Cape Town. This is the battle for 13th place. It is Brock Webster from Canada who will get us underway. He sends it high for Jojo Mora to climb high. Can't quite make contact, is it? But there's the familiar figure of Thomas Isherwood. Originally from Leeds, then Alberta in Canada. Mora at scrum half. Burner the captain. Difficult ball for Alex Russell. Couldn't hold on to it. And a chance now for Ernesto Chimino. And now Julio Blanc, who's been brilliant for Chile. Came up with an amazing track back tackle way back on Friday to knock out Germany in the pre round of 16. Chile then ran into South Africa on Friday night and were beaten by the hosts. They're looking pretty good, the blitz box then. We know what's happened to them since. They're knocked out of the main draw. Chile Los Condores. There is Blanc again. Really good carry. Webster finally brings him down. Backwards. Over the shoulder, goes backwards, so we play on. Bit of footwork here required. Here's Armstrong, Clemente Armstrong. I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diego Wonkin, top try scorer for Chile at that challenger event in Santiago. Oh, nice flick out the back. Videya. Huichi, the captain again. Ronkin, uh, Chimino, Chimino trying to get away from big Matt Owaru of Canada. Diego Ronkin, he chips through Jochen Huichi on the chase, but it's been well read by Josiah Mora for Canada. Just <laughs> keeps in the field Never of play, but feet. no penalty to Chile. Never got back to your feet. Great continuity here from nice Chile. Get back up to your feet. Canada, you can see a lot of hands. Hit. It's been asked a lot of questions defensively. Scrum. Not a bad option. Set piece, five meters out. This is the option you always have to be wary of when you play the South American teams. Like you said, it was read brilliantly. From Matt. Or, oh, Mora, sorry. Didn't get to his feet. So Penalty was Five. given. Here we go. Great attacking opportunity. Whole left hand side of the field open. Sit. It'll be Vidaya who feeds it. Huichi. Huichi just delays the ball to Wonkin. Wonkin gets away from one and another. Diego Wonkin. Our feet. Overload the far side. One more pass. Should do it. And they're in the corner. And it's that man, Julio Blanc. So often the go to. For the Condors. He likes patrolling that left hand side of the park. He's so strong with his running. And they know once they get him against a sliding deep, a physical mismatch with Brock Webster. Just runs out of airspace as Webster in terms of defense. That's a good finish. Version unsuccessful. Julio Blanc on the Old Boys Club in Santiago. Plays 15s as well. Last test against Portugal, 2019. The winner, 
15 a side game and seven. Try possession there. Took four passes as you can see, a couple of phases. Two defenders beat. 30 seconds to restart play after the conversion. You see that animation on the field for you. And great graphics coming away here from Cape Town Stadium. Selling all the good stories with the numbers. Here's Jamino through Warmkin. Armstrong again. Big unit, Clemente Armstrong. He's 21 years of age. Here's Jamino again. The day. Nice little drift indoors from Aveli. Good width on these balls, but that one's just a little bit too high for Uichi. Clemente Armstrong, though. Scoops it up, put on the floor by Webster. Canada go for the steal, don't win it. They've managed to push them all the way back into their own half now, Chile, but Chile's still in possession. And that, as we know, is the most important thing in this game. Scragged at the breakdown as Julio Blanc, the try scorer, gets away from one and then bumps off another. See you later. Inside ball to Jochen Hucci. He kicks it through under the attentions of Isherwood and it's gone over the sideline. Lock on white, so he hasn't kicked it. Yeah, he's dropped the balls. This is great defense from Isherwood. He tried to Lock kick it. I think he was tackled before, but here's where no, the break was initiated. Julio Blanc with some strong work. Nice inside pass. Look at the hard work coming on from Isherwood. Yeah, good tackle. Like that, Dee. Did he actually get it to his foot? Yeah, Mark's here. Yes, he did. Just a touch. Thomas Isherwood, good cover tackle. Moved to Canada, age 10. Born in Leeds in the UK. He's had a great season coming into this team. He was a carpentry apprentice. Oh, he's earning a living playing rugby sevens. She just late Time to arrive. There is Thomas Isherwood. Crouch! Takes him looking after that. Bye! Wouldn't it? Six! I'm sure those small bottles of shampoo you get in the hotel will be enough. Well, he's going to super for sure when he gets in. Pell Muller. No clear release. Four. No clear release. Four. Penalty to Canada here. They can clear their lines. But they are the guilty party. I'll tell you what, they've had to call on their defence, this Canadian team making a lot of tackles because they've had no ball to play with. Yeah, Webbs will eat up the easy metres to the sideline. They can go again. 40-odd seconds left in this first half. Canada yet to score. No, 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 Rock we need Webster. to get boys. Stay and there. Huxbridge, step Ontario. Step, 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 stay. Made his test debut in a World Cup qualifier. Scored a try. Play for the Toronto Arrows and NLR as well. Good carry here from Lockie Kratz from Victoria, British Columbia, which is the rugby heartland in Canada on the West Coast. Vancouver Sevens, of course, a Sevens destination on the Sevens World Series. We'll be there off white. next year. Men's and women's event for the first time. And an opportunity again here for Clemente Armstrong. He scoops it up. Off to the races. Manage. Chile just pinning Ten. Canada down. It's going to get worse for them. They're going to Ten. go to six. No Lockie Kratz heading down the sit down for two minutes. It's been an issue for no Coach Henry Paul's Canadian side there, all discipline. And in particular, players going off for yellow cards. It's hurt them over the course of this weekend. And well, Chile, of course. As a lot of teams do when you've got a player no rap. He's late for the shot. off an opposition, you go to the scrum team, they've got a miracle, miracle advantage. So they won't play he a half back to. here. He can Canada, so they're going to mark go, up go. in the back line three on three. Crouch! So Five. set play for Chile. We've already seen them score off a similar Six. situation in this half. This one coming a different direction. They use the decoy runner. And they will get there with the beautiful ball out the back to Julio Blanc, who has a double. Yeah, the Condor's feathers are flying here. Very smart play. The centre comes in on the short ball. They bite on it defensively. 
do Canada. And then they go out the back door. Now to this guy, he's been fantastic, Julio Blanc. What a well-worked move at the right time in the right situation. Diego Wonkin to add the extra couple, doesn't get there, remains. Two tries to none for Chile. Good half from them. They've dominated it, controlled it. They lead at 10 points to nil over Canada. Okay, we just saw a last gasp win from Wales in their last game for a long time on the seventh circuit, beating Scotland. Let's hear from their captain now, Luke Traham with Rob Vickerman. Luke, I appreciate quite emotional scenes around here. You snuck the win, but just tell us what the conversations are at the moment with your team. So we've, uh, over the last two weeks, we've talked about really enjoying playing the last two tournaments at World Sevens. Obviously, we've known for a few months that it's turned into GB. Um, and we've just talked about trying to leave the jersey in the best place possible for wherever it comes back a couple of, a couple of years down the line. So it's been quite emotional the last two weeks. I'm sure now we go to the change room, there's going to be plenty of tears. Same story for the Scottish, the English boys. Um, not really sure what, what the next few months holds. Um, really happy to get away with the win. Anytime we play the Scottish lads, English lads are always class games. Um, so I'm just chuffed we ended with a really good one then. I'm chuffed we come out on top. Flag behind you, badge on your chest. How much passion is there to wear that Welsh shirt for you over the years? Uh, it's the best jersey you're ever going to wear. So anytime I go out there, you play as if it's your last tournament. Unfortunately, this looks like it might be my last one in the Welsh jersey. Um, so I just, I just love it. Anytime you put the red jersey on, I love it, man. I love it's it. Been a pleasure watching you. Thanks very much. Luke. Cheers. Thanks very much. Yeah, emotional times for Wales as we say farewell to them and Scotland from the seventh circuit for the time being. Chile leading Canada, 10 points to nil. This is the battle for 13th place. Been a tough old half for Canada, that first one. Had a bit of possession, just couldn't get past this Chilean defence. A few errors. It's worth noting, Carlton Arna, that the fast track in South American rugby sevens at the moment. Uruguay just qualified as a core nation. Chile weren't far behind them. Of course, their 15 aside team are going to be at the 15s World Cup next year. And we know what Argentina are doing in all forms of the game. It really is remarkable. Yeah, it's a real renaissance, isn't it? In that part of the world. When those countries are all playing against each other, they're improving each other. And you can see the fruit of it. They all play a similar style, but they have a little bit of their own spin on it. Five. Which is quite unique. And a lot of teams Six. are starting to find out why. Well, Canada are that team finding out right at the moment. Here's Webster. Pops it over the top to Mora. There's been a... Chilean player who's pulled up lame and Mora takes advantage. Round on the outside and he will score. So Canada get back in this, perhaps fortuitously because Chilean player just pulled up there. I think it was Clemente Armstrong. You just got to take what comes in front of you. And this might be the opportunity for Canada to get right back in this one. Mora has been one of their best on show over the last three days. He's been a real fine. Go 10 report along with this, what I think has been fantastic. And this guy here as well. Josiah Mora, Toronto, Ontario. Castaway Wanderers Club, more recently. Club, the Castaway Wanderers. Former president Gareth Reese. Chile, 10 5 over Canada in their own 22. Here's Brangier, the veteran. Look at him go. Look at the engine. He's still got it. Issue it. Finally tracks him down, much younger man. That's gone behind Chimino. He picks it up and looks to find support. There's the offload. Rangier again. Real stalwart of Chilean rugby in both forms of the game. Huichi the captain now. Spires a bit of time. Russell and Webster finally engage, but pass the ball off your feet. It's one of those unlucky ones. They just 
lose their feet. It was Tredenick, I think. Seven past the ball. Well, they've got so accurate in that department. They had to break down. It's a real standout and feature of their game. Chilean, so once again, Canada can just relieve the pressure just a little bit. Look at the passes and stats. Chile have had 40 Stay there. compared Stay. to Thank Canada's you. nine at the moment. It's dominating. Offloaded a few of those as well. That's what's caused Canada problems. But second half, they've got some possession here. They got the try as well. Here's Webster. Mora. Got injured halfway through the last series and just halted his progress a little bit. He was one of the form players on the circuit. Here's Owaru. Yeah, thank you. From Calgary, Manage. Alberta, and in the Pacific Pride program. And Lockie Kratz arrives. Isherwood. Hair flowing in the breeze. Changes direction. Thomas Isherwood tries to get the hands free. Good clear out from Russell. Ten's got to get they out. Get the pen. Roll away, ten. Roll away, ten. You're okay. Kratz. Lockie Kratz reaches out and scores. You were okay. It was just. Yeah, going back to back, the Canadians on the back of finally getting some possession. I just feel like. The Chilean team are just starting to fatigue a little bit, and fair enough too. Day three, been intense for them. A lot of players' hands on hips starting the battle. This is where the mental toughness comes in. Well, Webster here can put Canada in front with 2.30 and a bit of change to go. Spider Camp comes behind him. He hits it well, straight through the middle. Canada have scored 12 unanswered points. Canada no, won the Singapore Sevens title an all North American clash against the USA. Of course, that was a very different Canadian team. The likes of Nathan Hiriyama and Harry Jones and Co. Mike Fuolafau, Lucas Hammond, Big Moose Mullins. There he is. He scored the opener in that game. Mm. To Sean Bowen. Knock on. Knock on, though, from Canada. So two points down Chile here inside the final Knock two minutes. Is the Sean Bowen, crossover athlete, and put him in the Pacific Pride program as well. Lots of energy behind the scenes in Canadian rugby, trying to get them back to where they want to be. Of course, the 15 aside team and the men's haven't qualified for the World Cup in France next year. Crouch. So work to do in both forms of the game. But we understand that work is being done. It's all about player development. Chile, two points in arrears here. Went into the break, 10 0 up. Here's Bronzia. Commits three Canadians to so that breakdown area. Could be an opportunity now. Christabel Hame. <laughs> Penalty chiller. They go quick. Vidaya. Chimina. Just skips past one. Nice offload to Brongia. Ball over the top, being partially intercepted by Mora. Went backwards, so we play on. To Sean Bowen has it. Leg drive from him. High tackle. I'm okay. sure the Canadians will go to the corner here. He got some more time. Less than 30 seconds to go by the time they get to the line out. That's all they have to do is affect and kick the ball out. Do, do they just what keep possession and don't give Chile a chance? Scrum time, yeah, good option. Yeah, we've got 30 seconds to set it. So they win the ball off the scrum, kick it off the field. And this one will be done. A good comeback win too. I'm sure that's what Coach Henry Paul will be solid in the fact. Yeah, his team got behind early, but yeah. Mental toughness to stick into it and Crouch. really execute in the second half. If they can finish this win, Five. then take that. Yeah, we'll see Canada on the Six. World Series with a restart in Hong Kong in November. Get off him, off him. Look at Chile, though, trying to turn it over. Oh, it's a free kick to Canada, so just not driving Early straight. Push. Early push. Well, it wasn't straight either. No, yeah, they had to have a nudge, and here we go. They're going to nudge it over Canada. Ooh. 
though. Webster kicks it over the sideline, and there's a no, bit of afters no, here with no, a slightly no, late tackle. No. Yeah. Brock Webster not happy. Yeah. But this one is done, time, boys. and it is Canada who have prevailed. A good second half comeback from them. They have won 13th place here on finals day in Cape Town at the Rugby World Cup of Sevens. 12-10 over Chile.